जब कोई इस दुनिया में आता है माँ और बाप इन दोनों रिश्तों के साथ आता है Nonetheless, we are coming with Shahrukh's film, and uh, he's someone I look up to. But who, without Rishto, wala janam leta hai? What about them? Because they call me son. Okay. So I call him brother. Right. And then in the song, our chemistry is quite sizzling. One rose, one question, God has given. I wouldn't say it's a relaunch or a comeback. I don't need one. Just the answer, life has given. It's really stupid of someone's imagination to, you know. put something like that Aisha Diol with Shah Rukh Khan for Dawn Saif Ali Khan for Omkara and Aamir Khan for Fana so I need to scare my grandchildren and show them darling <laughs>There's a lot of difference. Uh, this film, I think, has enriched me in a lot of ways. First of all, I was involved right from the scripting stages of the film. Then, obviously, acting and dubbing is part and parcel of every film. After that, I got really involved with the editing of the film. I got to learn a lot about editing. Got to know how much goes into a film, you know, beyond just acting in it, because we are producing it also. So there's so much post-production work. So I've learned a lot more about filmmaking than just acting. I think with this film. directed by by your mother and uh, we are having your father as well in this film that must be i think a uh, quite a wonderful feeling as well both the parents a wonderful feeling you said it right i think uh, for any child to be involved with their parents in any profession not just acting but anything it's a very comforting feeling it's a, it's a, you get to learn so much more and you see your parents in a very different light than just you know your mother and father you see them as director and actor in your career i think uh, you you've done some really fine performances i think people people talk about ankahi people talk about uh, darling as well uh, your performance in that that had been appreciated quite a, qu- quite a few other films doom you had the the oomph question which i think still everyone refers to you in in many ways because of that no entry one of the biggest hits of, of your career as well what really happened uh, there was a bit of a lull in between your yeah. mother says that uh, you were being offered two three uh, heroine films and you didn't want to do it you know honestly i've been in this industry for the past 10 years mm. i've done around 30 films 10 uh, as well Yes, yes. You are you're forgetting. It's one of you my are, favorite performances. And apparently it was a south uh, film that you acted in and it was remade in the movie. One of my well. favorite directors, Mani right. Ratnam. Ouch. <laughs> Tum French padhati ho na? Why? Ye French kis kya hota hai? Dikhao na. Shut up. I felt uh, I was being stuck in a rut. doing the same things and i i was not being creatively very satisfied and i like to live life uh, taking a lot of risks you know and i think uh, the risk that i took by stepping out of it and uh, doing tell me o oh khuda i think it's worth it i see a lot of actresses in the west who take off for four four years you know have babies and come back and still work in movies and they are accepted in a very nice way and over here there's always this relaunch kick come back which is i think really stupid sure. i wouldn't say it's a relaunch or a come back i don't need one it's just that we felt that we need to revive our home production and who better to act in it than me in the house what about uh, these these rumors of of a rehab that that you're going into a rehab and everything i don't think and i need to answer that anymore okay. i think it's pretty clear i've cleared the air yeah. and i think it's really stupid of someone's imagination to you know put something like that because i'm a very health conscious person sure. i dance uh, classical dance i live under my mother's nose sure. so from where on earth am i going to do all these absurd things i don't want to mess up this lovely time in my life by doing something silly
Bollywood is a is a very competitive industry. But it is a competitive industry, but it depends from individual to individual, individual as to how how much you want to take it upon you to be in sure. that rat race. Okay. I have uh, never been part of it, mm -hmm. and I live my life in a very happy go lucky way. Chill it out. Your last release was Hijack. Uh, it, it, the film was not appreciated. Uh, now you've taken a, a two years break. Now we are seeing the promos. It is totally centered around you. It's it's, it's tailor made for you as well. Diwali is a festive period. Ravan is releasing, but still, I, I'm sure that there will be options for people. What are the other films releasing? I'm sure that Tell Me Okuda will be benefiting from it as well. Do you feel, in a way, it's like a perfect kind of um, a way to you for you to make an Im impact once again? You know, I think it just happened because we were wanting to release a film uh, in September and then yeah, it didn't work yeah, out. Yeah. I think uh, Bhagwan sab kuch dekhta hai and uh, at the right time, I think Diwali is a fabulous time to release a film. Nonetheless, we are coming with Shah Rukh's film, but it was really kind of him to come for my music release and, uh, you know, launch it. So we always have a lot of goodwill amongst our families and uh, he's someone I look up to. I hope this is the finest film that comes out for the next 10 years. I am so happy for all of you who've done uh, this film and I pray that it is the biggest, 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 biggest success Evan Shah. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And like you said, I think Diwali is a festival time and our film is a family film. And I think everyone, you can't give them one film no? and Diwali, give them two, three options. Okay, and uh, Salman has done uh, Someone Somebody, the, the song, yeah. he, he's part of it. You know, but a lot of question is that uh, you've uh, done a no entry with him. But why do Salman brother? Because they call me a son. Okay. So I call them a brother. And then in the song, our chemistry is quite sizzling. There is, yeah. There is. <laughs> yeah, but that's what, that's, what, that's what actors are for, no? Isha, Isha. Isha, Isha. Touch my body. Touch my body. He's always been very, very warm with me, very protective of me. Right. And I love him. But don't you think that tomorrow if producers want to cast both of you together? I so we did no entry where I played his wife, no? Right. Even at that time I used to call him bhai, he used to call me beta. Right. But it's not seen on screen, no? <laughs> You'd like to work with him once again? Why he's, he's on the highest point of his he's, life? He's, I think, riding the highest wave in this industry right now. Okay, uh, someone, somebody, I think it, it, it's been shot beautifully. Both both you and Salman are looking, I think, really stunning. The dance choreography as well, I think, is, is yes, working that's wonderfully. Yes, done by Bosco It's working fantastically, in fact. How was the experience of uh, doing that song with Salman and well, the Total uh, Paradise? the song was remixed by DJ Akil, who's a very good friend of mine. And sure. uh, he really did, I think, a wonderful job. And that's why we decided, let's shoot a video. And there was a guy who was rapping in the video. Salman does that. Yeah, that's what Salman bhai did. Because right from the beginning, uh, he always told uh, my mom and me, agar kuch bhi chahiye, tell me, oh khuda mein, tell me, main aake karunga. Sure. And then I got him for the song. It was a lot of fun shooting for the song. I'm back at the party, guys, I'm loving, baby, what I see. She's out of the corner, doing no vodka up in the VIP. So, so hot, I feel I'm burning. I feel me trembling. Gonna make my move, though I got no clue. She's coming with me for sure. Rocky has styled me really well, I think, in the yeah. song. Yeah, I think you're looking very good in that. Thank you. Work very hard for it. I was living in the gym a week before the song. <laughs> oh, how I wish you could run my fingers down through your hair. Brown and black and smooth as circle like it's not even there. Back it up, get it close to mine. Breathe down your neck behind. Your lips are wet, wanna taste them. Put them in my mouth, don't waste. Apparently, I think Salman came on time exactly. For yeah, he told me so I'll come at 11.30. I said, and he's like, what do I wear? I said, wear a black suit and come. So before I was on the set, he was already there giving his first shot. And I was like, wow. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Tell us something about the, the experience of working with, uh, I think, uh, apart from Dharamji, there is Vinod Khanna ji, Rishi yeah. Kapoor and uh, Farooq Sheikh Sab. All of them, I, I think, are, are seasoned actors in their own right. Rishi ji, Vinod ji and all have seen me grow up. Because I remember I used to go to school less and go to the shoots more with my mother. Uh, they were doing a lot of films together at that time. So they've seen me grow up and they treat me like their own child. And when we were shooting for the film also, they were so involved with every scene and they wanted me to perform really well. So, you know, they really looked out for me. Sure. There were times when uh, if Rishi ji didn't like my take or my shot, he'd come and fire me on the set. He'd say, what are you doing? Don't do this, don't do this. We'll go to Turkey. Look, you guys want it, please. Go here. 
I love him for that. I mean, he's just so flamboyant and uh, you know outgoing. Arjun Bajwa and um, Chandan Roy Sonia. There is also this conjecture that uh, maybe uh, why is there no uh, a big star opposite you in the film? Well, because I think I'm the hero of the film. <laughs> okay, we accept that. And these big heroes, uh, they don't, you know, when it's uh, more of a female-centric film, uh, sure. they like, "Me, kya karunga fir isme?" Okay. But I think Arjun is perfectly cast. Um, I think people are going to appreciate his work a lot. He's looking very, very good in the film. Okay. And Chandan is a very fine actor. He's got a lot of humor that he brings out in the film. Uh, I'm very happy that we have both of them. Looking back at, it, back at your career now, um, how do you look back at it? I never look back. I only look at it. But still, if you have to maybe uh, look at your films that, that you've done and the ones that have been really satisfying, I think Ankahi was, was spoken yeah, about. Ankahi was nominated for the best negative role, but yeah. unfortunately, there was no separate female category. So yeah. they nominated Aisha Diol with Shah Rukh Khan for Dawn, Saif Ali Khan for Omkara, and Amir Khan for Fana. So where was the chance of me getting a, a thing? But at least I was nominated and I really enjoyed that uh, role. Uh, Vikram Bhatt uh, got out a great performance. Yeah. I always believe that, you know, as an actor, you have to have a right director to guide you. And then if I thought I couldn't act, I wouldn't have chosen this profession. So you know it, you, you're confident about it and you get into something. Mm -hmm. It's up to the director to tap out the right uh, performance from an actor. Apart from that, I think um, uh, Darling was, uh, maybe the film didn't work, but I think your performance was appreciated by I think uh, one and all, and even you are you spoken about, yeah. So how, how do you look at uh, a Darling and a, and a Yuva now? I mean, they're going to be in my uh, shelf, in my, in, it's gone down in history, you know, if I need to scare my grandchildren, I'll show them Darling. <laughs> You know, uh, in many ways, you're still referred to as, as a dhoom girl. In a way, do you think it became a bit of a liability because everyone wanted uh, to, to see that, that persona of yours in, in your future film as well? I did a couple of films that uh, were a bit glamorous, but then what do we do? I mean, I, I enjoyed dhoom and I enjoyed the tag dhoom girl. Sure. That song uh, was a rage. <laughs> And uh, I thank Adi for giving me that film and the song. I made a lot of money on that song, doing a lot of shows. <laughs> but uh, I, I like it, I have no complaints. I love being called a doom girl. But uh, have you approached Adi in that? Adi, when he wants to, he'll cast me. <laughs> in recent times, who are the directors that you feel that are, are doing quality work that you like to be working with them? I think Rakesh uh, Mehra. I really enjoyed uh, Dave D a lot. Uh, Anurag Kashyap. Uh, yeah, Anurag Kashyap. I have a strong feeling Rohit Dhawan is going to be a very big director because the promos of Desi Boys are looking really nice and I've known the boy for a while. Surely he'll be a hit, so he's definitely one person I would want to work with. Fantastic. Both a mixture of commercial as well as serious cinema. Fantastic. Your birthday is coming up on 2nd November? Yes. So I think Tell Me Okuda becoming a hit, perfect birthday present? Uh, yes. <laughs> Tell Me Okuda we are releasing on the 27th of yeah. October. Yeah. And uh, on my birthday I'm going to take off on a holiday. <laughs> because I've been really working hard for this, on this, you know, for the past two years. So I really need a nice chill out holiday now. Uh, Turkey must have been good fun. You guys have shot we in shot Turkey? Turkey? We shot in Goa, we shot in Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, Turkey is a beautiful place. Um, we only got a shoot over there. We shot in the Blue Mosque and some lovely locations. But I've also heard that Istanbul has a lovely club life, which I, unfortunately during shooting I couldn't um, be part of. But I'll definitely take a holiday maybe to Turkey. <laughs> and what are your future plans uh, in terms of movies after this? As of now, it's just tell me Okuda, tell me Okuda till the release. Uh, well, after that, we'll see. I'm also uh, quite keen on getting into production and uh, producing some serials also. Sure. Acting will definitely be my first love. Uh, if something really nice comes my way, which is worth doing, then I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm quite happy where I am. And maybe direction as well? I don't know about that. 
I need more experience for that. Fantastic. That was Aisha Deol talking about her film, Tell Me Your Khuda. She's uh, clarified all the rumors that have been doing the rounds and uh, she just wants to focus on the release of her film, Tell Me Your Khuda, as of now. Uh, she's also sp uh, told us why she took a bit of a, a break. She's spoken about uh, commendable works like Ankahi and uh, Yuva and uh, uh, how she still likes being uh, referred to as a dhoom girl in many ways. Uh, she's spoken about the kind of directors that she'd like to work with and uh, her birthday present will be, uh, I'm sure, Tell Me Your Khuda becoming hit and she'll be taking off for a wonderful holiday. Thank you very much for being Thank on board. Thank you. Thank Lovely you to so have you on board. And uh, all the best wishes for Tell Me Your Khuda and uh, happy birthday to you in advance. Thanks. That's all we have from Bollywood Rangama. Keep on watching.